before the grave. So 
better. Um, so can you write it up that way? Yeah. So what you want to do is waive first reading of this, and I will. I make a motion that we waive first reading. I second. Okay. Yeah. A motion to second. All in favor? Thank you.
So, okay. I, uh, okay. Look, I, look, I'm not going to argue with that's, that's not true, but go, go ahead. Uh, we done one, one beforehand, and we done one for like the festival. And we were dark in the hood and back out like it was. No. I don't quite understand what you what the city did. The, the, the dock spaces had hash marks, uh, and there are there, there, no, there are no part there. No, what, what what you did is you blackened out the hash marks, which essentially closes the dock access. My dock access. You took, and that was done on the same day. Both the dock spaces were blacked out because there were white hash marks demarking a no telling. parking zone. What I'm telling. Okay. I talked to you about it, and you you agree that it's okay for one, and we agree for one day to do the other. So that's it. I think he's more concerned about the, the long term. He's not concerned about the festival because he wasn't. No, yeah, that's where I'm confused. It's not the uh, festival. What he's concerned about is the parking houses that are that are reserved. No, it's not reserved. It's it's not, it's actually dock no, access. No. It's dock access. Yeah. You, you said that you need access to this that's kind of centered on. Is that right? And well, what, what I can see is kind of towards the center of the building. Yeah, what I can see it is that I, I, if you could, they, the city could paint back that one space so that we have access to that dock. Can, can now, by your front door, you know, your, your personnel door. Uh, that's also a loading door. That's a yeah, door. Yeah. 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 But there are two uh, parking places that are striped out there, is that correct? That's correct, and that yeah. was done by the city because yeah, those two spaces straddle that yeah. that loading dock area, and there's really no way to have full access to that loading area without, you know, demarking both of those yeah. as a loading well, area. And I know you disagree with me on as far as during lunch time having a shortage of... Uh, there is, there's, there's no shortage yeah, of parking. I know, the, yeah, the, yeah. once again, okay. uh, the city feels that there is. Okay, that's fine. But, there is. Uh, but in order, you know, I personally am comfortable with your having two uh, parking places where you can have access. So to they're not parking places, it's, that's loading no, access. They're, they're still parking places, that's fine. Uh, okay. So in other words, the spacing, uh, I would be comfortable if you would like transfer one of those, you still can't be able to move stuff in and out. You'll be able to pull a truck in there and get stuff out of the, the lower level. And, and then we take transfer the other one down to your down down to okay. your down to your uh, loading dock. Okay. And that way you can load engines and fenders and all those other things that way. That, well, that, no that's that's that that wouldn't be I mean, first of all, the city approved the demarking of those spaces for for our business for loading and unloading. Let's make that let's make that perfect. I, I didn't do that. Now that's, that's for that, that is for access. We also subsequently use it for parking because we are loading and unloading. Yeah. So it, but if, if they buy the parking parking space, if they're designated, no. If they are designated for you, they can be reserved for you. Uh, they, they won't be parking places if they right. We wouldn't be taking up. We wouldn't be taking up other parking spaces. Yeah, but we're comfortable with your having as far as that spacing. Well, two. You you can have if you want. You can have both of them down in your front door, so, or you can so the city, so, Okay, let, let's. So first of all, I would like to answer the first question. Why? Was what? Why? Why? Because the city said no. Hang on a second. What city? And the city approved. The city approved the four spaces for us for our business to have access to the docks up top and to have access to the, the loading ramp. That was done by the city and was okay by the city several years ago. Pardon me. We have any more questions? Well, that was okay. That was okay by the city. I would like to know why the city denied those, the access to those three those spaces. That's. I mean, I'm not getting an answer to that. <clears throat> Why, why was I denied access? Why, why did the city deny me access without first informing me? And why? What is the rationale for why those spaces were no, are no longer allocated to us for dock access? If it's, if, it's parking, if it's a parking shortage, that's a false assumption because there is no parking shortage in downtown at that end of Railroad Street. Okay. Okay. Well, 
right, we'll, we'll correct that one dot that we talked about. Okay, that we agreed upon. We agreed on. Okay. And we'll correct that one. Okay. So we really don't have anything that you don't want other than that other darken that we'll okay. like that. So That's we'll fine. take care of the problem. Okay. okay. It'd be the, you're going to read. We, we don't give me access to that one dot. That one dot. Okay. And the other two spaces, the, the ramp spaces that are already allocated. Not just one more. That that I can't have that because there's no way we'd be able to access the way it's the door, the spot. way that the way those spots are. It, it, it would be impossible it's for us to do your dock access. To that. Uh, no, I'm confused because Mr. Barton only wants to allocate us two spots. Two sp there, there's actually four access spots. Okay. okay. Two in front of the door. You can see the one on the end. There's two dock spaces. Right. One dock and two in front of the door. Two yeah. dock spaces. Two at the ramp. Right. So you need two in front of the door and one in front of the door. One in front of the That's all you need. Okay. Well, that's... That's not what I need. It's a piece of city would yeah. have to take away in one space. Right. I'm just All trying right. to make sure everybody's on the same page. Five minutes. Um, okay. And I'll think. Okay. So the resolution is that, that yeah. I will have the, the just you're going to no, take the one space. I'll just take here tomorrow. Okay. But the decision is Okay. Talk to the debate partner. All right. Again, I'm confused. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, next on the item, we have the latest of datum. Um, Sean Murphy, Jason, Wilson, and Ken Wilson. I don't know who Eric talked about. Come on up. Yeah, okay, Sean. Yeah, Good evening. How are y'all? Good. Uh, we have applied for final slat at the Lakeland Stadium. We received comments today regarding that slat. So we are making the appropriate corrections to be resubmitted. So we are not ready to go before with the actual plan yet. Okay. We had already been on here today, so we, we can't get to over any other questions. Do we have any questions for us? You just want a table to. Is that what you asked me? Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion with the table back to next month to you get back on the agenda for what you need to take care of. All right, I have a motion. Table. Table. On the table. Thank you very much. Thank you. Personally, myself, 
And you told me you didn't really want to have much to do with it at that time. All right, let me clarify that. And, uh, I said I, that I didn't think that I wanted to spend my time cleaning up for the builder. That's where I uh, No, I wasn't talking about the builder. I was talking about the tape pipe. The white guy got on the builder yeah. ourselves and got that to take care of. Okay. Uh, but then I talked to several neighbors and uh, I've, I've been trying to organize a work session of my own time and get the y'all community because y'all, we're not responsible for the retention pot at this time. And that's it, but I just said, who, who is responsible for it? It's not, actually, really what my question was, what's in the code about it? That's it. Let's let, let Thomas okay. As of May 2, the Hollywood Association is responsible for it. As of May 2? Yeah. Well, that's funny because uh, Matt Richardson, who was the CEO, the CFO, CEO, and chief cook and bottle washer for that association. Oh, that does. I was going to explain. No. Uh, he he, uh, said he there was a spray. Oat spray. Yeah. I was no, it's not oat spray. That does have a whole HOA. He lives right down here on the left at a village. Say it. I'm pretty sure. Hey, hey, hey. Three months ago, we brought this up. What, what, what is your subdivision called? Georgia. What is your subdivision called? What is your subject? Lakewood Village. Lakewood Village. Lake, Lakewood Village. Down here on Lake. On Joseph's, off Joseph's Street. Is it, it's the single street uh, yes. subdivision. So we got Joseph before the middle school. We got, we got the builder, one of the builders, or the owners of one of those lots to respond and clean up the lot. Yes. But I'm, I'm not sure who, um, I remember this is when Eddie and I worked on it. I'm not sure who would be um, responsible for that. Does the city have requirements for that retention? I could care less. You know, do you have requirements for it? Because what I'm trying to ask is, are we going to get stuck with something the building is supposed to do? Do you have requirements for the retention fund? P44 is a corporation that still owns that property. And if we don't have a homeowners association, association we're not taking it over. So there's no sense to say that it's recently the homeowners association is responsible. Matter of fact, I can show you a documentation that is the final plat for that subdivision there, and my lot is excluded from it. Hang on for a minute, George. Thomas? It's going to take me about 10 minutes to go back and tell them to move on. Well, I think we're going to I don't want to take any more of your time. No, I mean, you're you're gonna like, we're going to we're going to do no, the time. But Ken, would you be willing to uh, Allow a couple of other people to stay, sure. and then we'll bring you back. Yeah, all right. Let's yeah. Back. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Uh, we have Karina uh, Mackis. Um, she wants to talk about the purchase of the elderly. There you go. I'm Nancy Karina Mackis, and I just wanted to purchase the alleyway between Lane's house and mine and the one behind between Miss Carolina and Mark. We've been keep up cleaning the alleyway for 25 years since I lived there. We're the ones responsible for cleaning up the area. City Hall never come to the clean up. So I just thank him because the girl behind had a dog and they come and pull them out in my lot of the time. And they come and leave my flowers and I hate it. So I want to see if I can be on my fence, but I just want, I don't want to cut off my flowers in the back. So that's the reason I need the other way. So I don't want it to be offense and then the city hall is going to come back and say, hey, this is us property. So that's the reason I want to buy it. How long have you been there? 25 years. 25 years. Uh, Normally we have too many ads in the city and the people that own it usually take half and half. So, yes. So unless something really but, comes up it, yeah. it, it won't be we'll let the homeowners use it okay but, um i think i talked to you about like five or ten years ago about it too long while back and the same situation you told me that you want to let the other people know but miss Larine is not no more able to do that neither miss caroline miss caroline is dead and i think if i'm not mistaken a nursery home holding the apartment. I, I, I think somebody told me. The apartment? The nursery home owned the lot. 
Carolina. On, on, on what yeah. she used to own. Yeah, well, she's dead, so, yeah. yeah. So, you speaking of the lady that passed away. Yeah, that's yes. uh, Well, her family still owns that. Uh, it has not, uh, nurse home does not have it uh, uh, there. Because her daughter, her daughter's still in the nursing home. Yeah, that's wild. And uh, that's they wild. cannot do anything with it at this point in time. Yes. Uh, so, no, the nursing home does not own it at this time. Until uh, Miss Carol's daughter passes on, nothing can be done with that piece of property except to maintain the keep the grass cut. That's what we do. We didn't cut the grass. Well, I mean, I don't know how far, I don't know. I'm not, uh, but they got a, uh, 